11, 11, 23. Oh my god, I, this kid just like, sounded like he dropped 10 bowling balls right above my head. And then every time I turn the camera on, it gets quiet. It has been bowling, 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 bowling nonstop for like a fucking hour. There you go. Hi, big boy. The dog out in the car is probably barking at the asshole upstairs. And I blame the parents, not the kid. Obviously, she's extremely fucking hyper. But, you know, if you kept a dog in an apartment all day long when you have a nice, beautiful yard to run in, it doesn't matter if it's cold, bundle them up. Bam, you hear that? We were never inside as kids. If it was 100 degrees, we were outside. If it was 10 below and snowing, we bundled up. We look like a starfish, and we fucking went out. What are they fucking doing? I gotta move. I am moving. I don't know where. The universe will divinely guide me, as always. I'm listening. I'm watching. But, oh, my God. And I think I'm also being taught a lesson here. And the lesson... Well, forgiveness, it's not the child's fault. The parents, I'm sure... People are on the spectrum nowadays, COVID, uh, child kidnappings. You got to be afraid, and you have to keep your eyes on your child every second. And if you have two or three, oh, dear God, God bless each and every one of you. So, but at the same time, get a bungee cord. We live in a loft. Get a, all that building you do. You got to be a carpenter. You're not supposed to do your work at home here. They, they throw you out for that. But he's got to be a carpenter, the way he sounds, even before the baby came. He's not a baby anymore. Bungee fit. Tie that bungee shit to the ceiling. It's like aerial dance. And do it with him. Get a collapsible couch. I'm getting my pole in here, and I'm going to start working out again. Wear his ass out. Be creative, people. Make some flipping videos. You got a dog. Do something. Instead of yelling at the kid all day for running, running like that, falling down and getting hurt. You're going to traumatize your own child. And what is he going to do with all that bottled up shit? You need to get him in a, I don't know, a, something like a self-defense, not like a, a, you know, kickboxing heart. He needs to be in something where he learns to forgive and peace. Kick a defense where somebody comes at you so you're not using your power to go after and kill people. You're protecting yourself. That's what that child needs. Because if you get him in a kickboxing and a karate, he's going to be a nutbag when he is old enough to be out there. There's a very small town. And um, a lot of people do the drugs and all that. And a lot of people now have stopped. And there's a lot more awareness of God, Jesus, and hello babies. I mean, where there never was before. And not just Jesus, just spirit, spiritual awakenings and prayer and belief in a higher power. This is just so the norm right now. And I absolutely love it. And I keep imaging, you know, in my head, that to them. New parents, that's gotta be hard. My daughter, when was it? she was two months, she cried every night from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. for two months straight. I thought I was gonna hang myself. I couldn't, because see the arthritis, I couldn't tie the rope. But all, all I did was cry and cry and cry and cry. I know what it's like, but that, how low it was running. Hear that? Bang! I need some butterflies to go up there. I need something to maybe distract the dog. If I can create, I gotta touch some catnip. And I gotta send them up through the ceiling, get the dog to go a little crazy, and then maybe we could stop some of this. Let's see what I can do. I haven't done this in a while. And it's really cold and arthritis is prevalent right now. So let me see what I could do. There we go. Okay, the ones are falling, obviously a catnip. The ones that are flying and will listen to where I push them to or come to my light. Now there's nothing in my hand, nothing. You can see, no more nip, nothing. And I just wiped it on my rope. So there's nothing to snap off. So that what's inside of me, see those wings? Is attracted to what happens outside, which is 
taking something that is a dead leaf and animating it because orbs are energy that's alive and awake. Again, there's let me see if I could change the setting. Um, there's a lot of light, it's hard to see my hands, but as you can see, there's nothing on my hands. Nothing. And my nails could be better, but I can't snap my fingers because the arthritis, so it's not like I'm picking my nails because I can't. But I can. Oh, I love when they look like diamonds. I love that. Sometimes the whole wall lights up like that diamond one, and it looks like there's a disco ball. Hello. See how that one followed me? That's the string like bird. That is an orb, and that is always with me. Went right, followed my hand, and went through the wall. I was questioning that last video. Hello. There we go again. Um, and since Jesse passed, just, you know, that bird, that bird is always here, always. And the butterf the mirrored butterflies, there are orbs that imitate the reflected mirror, but they're five times the size of the mirrored butterfly in the front end. And they move and they travel, and then they appear in the hallway, and I have absolutely no mirrored butterflies in the hallway. And they sit right above the laundry room, and I have filmed that several times now. Oh, Sparkly, I would love to make a butterfly. It's been a while. Or a bird. Would you see my hello? Come. Come. Thank you. That went right in my wrist. Thank you. All white today, too. Usually when I do the catnip, they're green and gold and yellow. So maybe because it's 11-11, I don't really have an answer. See? They're white no matter what. You can hear that banging, can't you? All right, time to distract the dog, my lovelies. Send up some love and some light, please. Let's create a whole diamond in the wall. That's good too. I'm for that. But I gotta get one. Oh my God, we gotta send these up. This is too much. There we go. There's the gold ones up. Thank you, watch, and they follow. Up, thank you. Oh, that one had wings. Please, up. Thank you, oh, that one went fast. Now they're, they're I'm asking them to please either go up or go side to side. And they're doing it. Thank you. Thank you of love and light only. Let's get some peace going in that house. Some sanctuary. Thank you. But my home. Ah, bang. That made the whole ceiling shake. I don't know. Parents must have headphones on. You see that? That one fast. I haven't done anything with that hand in a while. That's my shoulder cracking. Who is possibly at the door? Okay, shit. Why is the door? Oh, maybe it's my package. <sighs> Who's at the door? Who is that? Maybe it's Timo. Let me see. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna let you in. You can come to apartment two ten. Thank you. What's the delivery? Timo. Oh, it's Timo. Mm-hmm. Oh, it has Timo stuff. Yep. Two gowns, a sweater, and like a a dress, like a with a um tunic, just like a tunic. You know, chop it. That if I had to wear leggings underneath for the Sanchez concert, and just wear all black, yeah. then I could wear big earrings and a big necklace and make. People can hear you talk right now. You might want to hit that again. Oh, oh shut up! Damn. Okay. Thank you, Pep. Hang on. Let's see if they're up here. Hopefully they're coming. As I was talking, oh, you see, you really can't see them. Mirrored butterfly thing. Oh, and orbs. But sometimes they're gigantic. They're not a reflection of anything. They change shape and they move. And then they just appear where there are absolutely no mirrored butterflies or things. Come on, you can come in. I hope I don't have to go downstairs. I 
said, please come to apartment 210. I got it on video. Where is I? I want my shit. I think I'm going to have to go downstairs. Can you hear the kid? Can you hear him? This is not stop from 6 in the morning. No, no, no. Stop. Where's the water? I don't know. I'm not doing my hair. I'm gonna go out there looking fucking psycho nuts. Don't care. I don't have the hoodie thing on, so I could wear a hat, but I don't think I'm gonna. And I don't think he's coming up here. Psycho. Well, he didn't, I gotta go downstairs, because he didn't come to the apartment. I said come to 210. I, yeah, today is a very strange day. Very. 11-11, but it's, a shift must be off or something. Because 11-11, I've had such amazing, magical, you know, universal things that it could only happen at or on level 11 with her plan alignments at a certain time. I don't know what's off, but I wonder if it's the same thing that I was feeling during the full moon and the week before. And I thought it had to do with the sun and energy and it affecting the earth's core and animals. I said that a couple of videos ago, and I am wondering does it have anything to do with. Because there's too many things nonstop from, I don't know, last night or early this morning, rolling, not just for my kids, me, like crazy, crazy, crazy. I gotta pause this, people already think I'm crazy. Can you believe I, he, I said he didn't come to the door? Well, I'll get out of the elevator. Face in the wrong way because the phone's around my neck. There it is. He just left it. It's supposed to come up to apartment two ten, and I'm sure, there's not in here. I have to try my pants on. Shit. I and then I have to take a shower. I gotta try my gloves. Hope this isn't backwards. Well, it's my Timu package and something from Amazon, but I can't imagine what this is unless it's stockings, and that's a very small package. I want like sweater stockings over the knee. Timu, why? People could just walk away with this shit. They say they got cameras, but they're full of shit. They don't. Oh my goodness, here we go. I don't want to drop it from under my. Ah. I have to try these on. Now, every time I get a 14, it's big. Sometimes it's like three or four sizes too big. I might have gotten myself something bigger than that, but 14 from Timu is surprisingly big. 12 is kind of just right. The only thing that Fs it up with the size of my boobies. They just get in the way. And so, waiting for a bra to be delivered. Again, every bra I have delivered, I could open my own store. Oh, they're all with my channels. I need a bra maker to come here and specifically make a bra for me for what I'm loaded, what I'm not loaded, pain free. Just damn the bras curses to you is what I say. All right, to be continued, I'm gonna, I will share with you my gowns. I got a two piece, a long sweater, and two gowns. So, and in the interim, it hasn't stopped. Hear that? What have we got? 15 minutes, with the exception of going downstairs. It's quieter at the front door where the mailboxes are, which is basically sitting on the street with all the traffic, all the college kids. It's quieter there than in my apartment. The Lord's teaching me a lesson. I'm listening, Jesus, I'm listening. Thank you. Ooh, that was pretty. Another disco ball light in the wall. 
Oh my goodness, at least I have you, my beautiful lovelies. I love all of you, and I love all of you. And happy 11 11. Oh, there's my bird. I knew it. I just talked about you. Oh, look at the wings. Please, please. Oh. Now, I do not see it with my eyeballs at all. Now, if that was like a string, I would see it very clear with my eyes. Sometimes, it'd be, once they do that, it'll pop up out of nowhere. Like, it'll go through the window, and then all of a sudden, it'll be on the left side. And he's looking for it. Wow, what a great way to close the video, huh? Peace, love, and light. Be kind, because it matters. <sighs> Forgive. Learn to tolerate. Pay it forward, always. And buy headphones. I'm gonna. Peace, love, and light. Thank you for being there. And you. And you. And you. My babies. <laughs>